My name is Possible, and I'll be your tutor for today. In our previous lecture, we look at the next national product at market price, next national product at factor cost, and then from there we look at the summary of all the formulas. And then we said that in some questions, they will not tell you to compute or to calculate for the next national product at factor cost. Rather, you will see something like calculate for the national income. And then I told you that if you want to calculate for the national income, it means that perform the computations until you reach net national product at factor cost. Today is of no exception. We are going to look at personal income, how to compute it, use the computation, disposable personal income or disposable income, and its computation. Now we are saying that personal income is an income that is received by the household in an economy in a year. So all the incomes, the aggregates, the summation of the incomes that have been received by the households in an economy over a period of time, say one year, is what is referred to as personal income. So, if you want to say it in other way, you could also say that personal income is the summation of all the incomes that has been received by the household before the allowance of personal tax. Before the allowance of personal tax. So, we want to say that whatsoever the case might be, personal income is the aggregate or the summation or the totality of all the income that has been received by the household. Now, let us look at the computation. We are saying that if you want to compute for personal income, we are going to pick the national income. When you pick the national income, make sure to subtract all the incomes that you have received, but you have not earned. And then you subtract all the incomes you have earned, but have not received. Why are we doing that? This is because the, if you want to compute for my income, add all the incomes that I have received, whether I work for it, or it was someone who dashed me, or I pick it on the ground. That one is not important. What is important is that now it is part of my income. Whether it was the government who gave it to me, or I got it from the company or the firm I work from, you don't care. What is much important is the fact that it has become part of my income. So we are saying that we add all the incomes that you have received, but did not necessarily work for it. I hope it makes sense. And then we subtract all the incomes that are earned but not received. Yes, we have earned it, but we have not received the cash. So we can't add it to our income. We must subtract it. Why are we doing this? We are doing this in the sense that the national income excludes some items, something like transfer payment. But the transfer payment is also an income item. Let us come and add it back. And there were some items that the national income captured, which belongs to the national base. Let us subtract them. The way we subtract them, we'll be able to narrow the national income into personal income. Right? So let us go straight to the board and perform some computations. Right? In order to narrow the national income into the personal income. Good. So, computation. Personal income. 
is equal to N N B at factor cos N N B at factor cos plus income received but not earned minus income earned but not received please don't write this one in an exam right good so income received but not earned and the income earned but not received avoid shorthand in an in exams write them in full good now we have got you to know that we are adding the income received but not earned and then we are subtracting income earned but not received so the question is how are we going to get this income received but not earned and how are we going to get the income earned but not received mind you there are a lot of items that must come together we list a lot of items and then we put all of them together and then we get the income received but not earned. At the same time, there are a lot of items that also come together for us to get what is called income earned but not received. Looks like I listed some. So let me try to see whether I can give you some of the items that I have actually listed for you. I have something like income received but not earned. Income received but not earned. One is scholarship. When a government gives you a scholarship or a company gives you a scholarship, you did not work for it or you have not worked for it. But they're giving it to you as an income. You have received it, but you didn't work for it. Bonus is also one item. Transfer payment from the government. When the government is giving out dash now some money to some people, it's an income that you have received, but do not necessarily work for it. Corporate, and the, the other one is unemployment benefits. Unemployment benefits. If the government is giving out unemployment benefits for some people who are not working in order to ease their burdens, that one is personal income. That one is an income received, but not earned, which is unemployment benefits. I hope you are getting it. So let us look at the income end, but no receive. Income end, but no receive. We have what is called social security taxes. Yes, something like SNIT, insurance, social security taxes, and those things. So we are saying that the company, yes, you work in the company, and the company has to pay you an income, but they have to set some of the income aside for you for um, future that is retirement or for any um, contingencies or any issue that will pop in so we are saying that it's called social security taxes or government is taking taxes from the firm or the individual it's very important we have what is called retain profits now profit which has been declared for the year could be categorized into retained profit or the retained earning or the re reserves and then the dividend. I hope you are getting it. So the portion of the profit, the declared profit, that the, the, the board of directors and the management have decided to be distributed onto the shareholders is what is called dividend. But the portion of the declared profit at the annual general meeting which has been decided to, make, to be maintained or of which the board of directors have decided to maintain them or to reinvest them in the company is what is them as the retain profit or the retain earning. When you are saying that that one though it is an income but it's not going to be given to the household they have, the company has retained it. So it is income and but not received. That one you subtract. Corporate profit tax. Yes, indeed, the company or the firm has earned income or profit, but the government is taking a portion. So that income is not coming into the household 
Rada is due to the government. So it is an income and though, but we have not received it. And then we have undistributed profit. I'm not saying that these are only the items that fall under that, but these are some of them to ease your burden. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now, the next one is personal dis disposal, disposable personal income. Disposable personal income or disposable income. We are saying that it is a part of the personal income which is left behind after the payment of personal direct tax. Direct tax. Not indirect tax. Direct tax. So we are saying that disposable income, yes, the household also pays tax out of the personal income that it, um, he or she or they are getting. I hope it makes sense. So if a household and you are getting personal income, a portion of the personal income must go to the government in a, in a form of a tax. According to income tax law, at 2015, at 896, here in Ghana, when you get an income, you have to send some to the government. Direct income tax or direct personal tax. I hope it makes sense. And we are saying that if you subtract that direct personal tax, if you subtract that direct personal tax from personal tax, you are going to get what you disposable personal income. That's why we are saying that it's disposable personal income. It's a part of the personal income which is left behind after, after the payment of personal direct tax. So computation. Disposable income, let me use DP, but disposable income is YD, put it at the back of your mind. So disposable income is equal to personal income minus personal direct tax. Personal direct tax. I hope you are getting it. Good. So that is the formula for that. Having understood this, in our next lecture, we are going to look at the three approaches to the measurement of national income. Just recapitulating this, so the personal incomes are either received by the household in an economy in a year, right? And the computation of personal income is equal to NNP and factors net national product and factors plus income received and not earned minus income earned but not received. And they are saying that there are a lot of items that go into this one and there are a lot of items that go into this one. And I have listed some of the items that we have to put them together in order to get income received and not earned and then this one too. And then this one our personal income is a part of the income personal income left after deducting direct tax. And that is how we compute it. Personal income minus personal direct tax. Once again, my name is Possible from Ghana. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye-bye.